centerpiece of uh, your legacy? I think that the way we deal with society, the way we deal with the life issues says a lot about us. Um, if we look at the, the good book, the Bible, it's about how do we care for widows and orphans, that that's, that's how we're going to be judged. The taking of life is a very, very, very serious issue. It's something you can't reverse. It's something I don't think you can, I think you can be forgiven, of course, God is full of forgiveness, but I think that that's a pretty hard course to walk. And particularly for me, very personally, I believe it's the gravest of sins. And so for me to somehow tolerate that or, or, or some such would just be so serious to my eternal well-being that, mm -hmm. that um, it's an issue I'm very passionate about, feel very strongly about. What about those very difficult decisions involving rape, incest, life of the mother, Senator? Well, I think when you take a life, you take a life, and there isn't a good way to justify or excuse it. But it was difficult for me to understand individuals that felt there was more compassion and more health care delivered when a baby's life would be taken for a number of reasons, a number of reasons. And some uh, uh, disabilities, you know, if a child had Down syndrome or if a child was somehow blemished in the eyes of the uh, abortionist or the eyes of some that the child was somehow blemished and didn't, um, shouldn't live. Mm -hmm. That was so difficult for me to uh, comprehend. And Well, I, I don't comprehend that. I don't comprehend that. I don't, I don't see how one um, disposes of a life for whatever reason, be it something, uh, uh, you know, a very, very grave disability to whatever the reason might be. And I've, too, because of my interest in this issue, I've come across so many women that uh, have had abortions and regret it and seek forgiveness. And I do believe they're forgiven. They're, they're, they're truly uh, remorseful, and I do believe that, that they're forgiven for that. Um, but for us as a society or as a government to promote it, I think really puts women in a lot of danger, a lot of harm's way, and we should be promoting a healthy society, a mm -hmm. good society. Well, with President Trump, President-elect Trump, who takes office on January.